The university's faculty is going through with plans to hold no confidence votes on three leaders, including the university president. Our Jasmine Payute outlines the problems the union members have with university leaders. This no confidence vote is meant to send a strong message, but it's important to note that a no confidence vote does not authorize any sort of change. So here's what's happening and here's what we know. The action by the Temple Association of University Professionals is against President Dr. Jason Wingard, Board of Trustees Chair Mitchell Morgan, and Prohost Gregory Mandel. The leadership has faced calls for change from faculty and students upset about a range of issues. According to Temple News, the school's newspaper, their recent survey of more than 1,000 students show more more than 92 percent generally disapprove of Wingard's performance. 75 percent of students surveyed identified safety as the biggest issue, citing major incidents like the deadly shooting of Officer Christopher Fitzgerald, while 19 percent cited the Temple graduate student strike that lasted for more than a month. Temple University responded to this by releasing a statement saying, in part, we are ready and willing to engage and work closely with faculty, dean, staff, students, and all other dedicated groups to confront the challenges facing our great university. The union will continue with a formal no confidence vote. We're told that will happen beginning the week of April 10th. At Temple University, Jasmine Payne, CBS News, Philadelphia.